Hey guys, I got AJ Shaver from Shaver Equipment. Shaver Sales. Shaver. <laughs> yep. It's all good. We well, the, the true name is actually Shaver Specialty Services and Sales Inc. It's a mouthful, but my wife does cookies and cakes and all that kind of stuff. Okay. We've done some landscaping and site work, so we were kind of looking for one name that would cover it all. But uh, probably the last two years, we've kind of shortened it up to just Shaver Sales Inc. for what we're doing up here at the Woodlot, and it's ShaverEquipment.com because that's where all the equipment is showcased and shown. So that's kind of what we do. Well, I came down today. I wanted to get a uh, one of the log lift racks that they made it they, they came out with a couple different designs yeah. this is the latest it looks really nice it's compact um i've got a, it's a, compact it's actually it's, in an expedition or an excursion what, what is expedition this? expedition okay yeah. and it comes apart it collapses down and we were able to get it in with no problem i got some bags and we're going to start out with this see how it goes i've never used a log lift bag but i've seen them and um you know rather than go out and buy those uh IBC totes. I got ten of the IBC totes, but you know they're fifty bucks a piece at a cheap on a, on a good day. <laughs> on a good day, yeah. You know, so uh, we're gonna try that and see how it works out. But uh, he's got. I'm just gonna flip around real quick. He's got all kinds of equipment here. I know he was at some shows recently. He's got the split fours. He's got what's this over here? That's this a is the Brute Force 1824 diesel on steroids. That that's something that I affectionately call Logzilla because I can stretch everything up and it looks like a great big monster and it just gobbles up the firewood. Um, we've done some videos now that we're averaging about a full cord every 10 minutes. Wow. So uh, the last two videos they were each two cords in 22 minutes, and that was with me doing a couple resplits and things. So I think if we had like the really nice every day no nothing went wrong i could probably shave it down under 10 minutes but it's a uh, it's a heck of a machine i mean it, it's it looks bigger in person than it oh, looks it's, like no it's huge it, it's it's stupid yes i, I... It, it, but but it, if, if i recall correctly it folds up the, the conveyor oh folds yeah the up conveyor goes over you... top of the splitter chamber but it's still 40 feet from the pinnel hitch wow. to the back of the splitter chamber and so. how long did it take to set it up i remember seeing something oh this on... is only the average 1824 diesel with the hydraulic live deck and the hydraulic conveyor, I'm about a minute 30. This with the eight outriggers on it, maybe three minutes. But It, it was amazing. I saw I, it was a Woodruff, a Woodruff yeah, Woods. Yeah, Woodruff Woods. Yeah, yeah Darren's Darren. just over the hill. Okay. And uh, yeah, he's, he's a good yeah. advocate for trying things out. He's a good guinea pig. <laughs> so, um, but no, like you said, with the log lift, uh, with the racks, this is actually our third rendition of it. And, you know, it just the course of going through things and trying to figure it out um we start off with like the ones over here we would just you can see like the red hooks on it we would hang the bags but then when we went to pick them up i'd have to get out of the machine and take them off yep so then like these guys we overbuilt them that was our 2.0 version that would not fit in my expedition right so <laughs> we built it for strength because i wanted to mirror like the forks holding the bags open yep but then i didn't know what it was going to weigh or what the bag would weigh so we built it out of three inch tube steel and then they kind of caught on because it works everybody wanted to ship it well to ship that was <laughs> stupid so we've got a couple pipeliners that you know they make these up for me and um they've been working it, out really well we've sent them to new mexico up into idaho new york all over you know um guys like you have come in picked them up here at the woodlot and, and, and we and we lifted it in it really wasn't super heavy you brought over at the the uh the mini skid steer with the pallet thing but then we were able to slide it right in yeah. and you know it really wasn't that bad so i was actually sh surprised <laughs> yeah so and i'll debut this little thought with your channel we're actually have they should be here at the end of the month it's like the mini me version of the log lift bag so these are a third of a cord okay the new ones that are coming in we got just a pallet so i wanted to try them right but they're going to be a sixth of a cord okay so like for the camper market yep. somebody doesn't want this much you could put it in the back of a small pickup truck yep. just a little bit more of a niche kind of market yeah. so it's going to be identical it'll have the the mosquito netting it'll have the um the nylon sides and it will even have the little unloading loops on it for flipping them upside down so it's a true austin powers mini me you know <laughs> kind of bag so i'm excited to get those here so um if you catch our channel over on youtube it's just shaver sales inc uh on youtube just hit you know comma channel and everything pops up all of our videos and stuff but you know we get late we get lazy because i i know how to get your channel <laughs> i just don't remember the exact words yeah. sometimes <laughs> oh everybody does you know it's uh we were over well we weren't at uh outdoors with the morgans but that's actually 
uh, Mike's blue split force over there. We oh, grabbed okay. that as a demo unit. Because he's like me, um, there's a little bit of OCD there where it should be CDO, that way it's alphabetically correct. And <laughs> he has all that orange Kubota stuff, so we yep. got him an orange split force. It just kind of matches and it works. Right, so, right. But uh, no, I appreciate okay. you coming down, yeah. grabbing some stuff. Look forward to seeing it on your channel. And, mm. um, you know, the bags, if anybody likes the bags, they're over on the, the website, which is just shaverequipment.com. Hit the equipment tab, scroll on down, and then we have four easy order quantities. Shipping is included, the credit card fee is included, and then actually when you click on the website, the little box pops up with some promo codes based on which level of bag you want to grab. So, And I got to say that if you come down here, as opposed to getting them shipped, you can stop at Krispy Kreme like I did on there the way. Go, we see? don't have that up in New York anymore. So. Hey, hey j just remember, <laughs> it, it's it's not a dad bod. It's a father figure and round is a shape. So. That's right. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, AJ. No problem, sir.